Yo budgeters, welcome to episode 2 of the Megalith Combo Tutorial. In episode 1, I demonstrated the unlimited or infinite negate end board. In this episode, as displayed in the thumbnail, I'll be ending with an Appaloosa and a Borrowlord Savage Dragon. With 3 negates or 3 counters and 5 cards destruction triggered by Fool. In this combo, I'll be utilizing Sonic Bird, Hargive and a her Heratic Dragon. If you don't have Sonic Bird in your hand, you can utilize in this for this combo Manju or Senju. Both will work. The combo will just be a little different, but same, same end board. In the event you don't have Hagif, then Ophiel or even Chalice, Chalice Lime would work also. A quick note, guys. The same hand, same free card utilized in combo one in episode one can also provide this end board. Likewise, this hand can also end with the unlimited negate. That being said, let's move on. So first, I'm gonna be summoning Sonic Bird. Sonic Bird effect is gonna search me a ritual spell card and we're gonna be going with advanced ritual art. Advanced ritual art then is gonna be activated to summon a gift from my hand. Teaching our earth tuner level 4 which we're going to be utilizing later to search an unform unform is now going to activate we'll be tributing Hagith to special summon the best card in the deck full from the deck full is now going to activate this effect returning Hagith to our hand now the reason we chose Hagith instead of Sonic Bird it's just that gives us more opportunity to summon Hagif over and over. And Hagif is our search. Every time Hagif is special summoned, well, ritual summon, we, we get a search. And in this combo, we'll be special summoning Hagif for like four times because we want to ensure that we're searching all the searchable cards in, in this next archetype. Now, here is where the spice come in. In the last episode, we utilize the heretics a little, but not to the extent that we're going to be utilizing in this combo so now we're going to be pretty much using the heretics as a folder to special summon from our deck Ophiel which is in return going to give us a search and heretics going to act effect going to activate to bring our tuner to the field a level 2 dragon with Ophiel we're going to be searching Hagif yes that's right we're going to be abusing Hagif Now we're going to be activating Ophiel's effect to special summon Hagif, ritual summon Hagif from our hands, which is going to give us a search. This time we're going to be searching for Portal, the, the uh, field card. We now are going to activate the field card and now activate Hagif's effect to special summon himself, well, ritual summon himself from our hand. Boom. Chilling one, Hagif, chilling two, the portal portal is gonna get us Hagif from the graveyard back to our hands and Hagif is now gonna search us another unform this card is ridiculous <laughs> can ritual summon a ritual monster from our deck well not any ritual monster but still good so now we're gonna go with so now we're gonna summon our level four equip summon for level four to give us a search region Grandad can activate this effect, sorry. To ritual summon to search any level 8. In this instance, we're gonna go with a leg. This level 8 will pretty much act as a folder to special summon our food gift from our deck. Because with unform, the monster needs to be double. The folder monster needs to be double the level. So since we're going for a level 4, we'll need to pitch a level 8 or it stars ranking up to 8. So we're gonna go for leg. Search for Hagif. Hagif in return, gonna be searching for another unform. We ain't gonna be abusing unform. So, in this instance in the combo, is where we're gonna be showing how effective the erratic tech card is it? Is it in this combo or is it in the deck? So, now we're gonna go for a link two. Any link two. In this instance, I pretty much went with this one. This is like the cheapest link two with the ice attack. Um, 
So it, it can be anything of, of your choice. Anything of your choice. Go into Link Cross. Link Cross will then give us two tokens, two level one tokens. So you can start synchroing away. First synchro you're gonna be going to Metal Marshall. Marshall. Marshall on the bear. Marshall, yes. Yeah. Plus, I'm gonna tune her back from our deck, which we're just gonna be using as link material. Then we're gonna be going to Herald. Boom. Now, with rituals, with exceeds, with synchro, now we're gonna go for fusion. In this combo, <laughs> we, 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 we pretty much like utilizing all so many mechanics. Boom. Herald gonna be fusion into Elder Entity, so we can get the Herald's effect. With Herald's Effect, we're going to be searching for, you have two options. You can either go for Chalice Slime, or you can go for Advanced Ritual Act. With Chalice Slime, you go for Chalice Slime, you can discard Chalice Slime to special summon candle from the deck, which will allow you to search for your Inception, which you can Ritual Play, which will slim down your deck and will add more Ritual names to your graveyard for Befall later on. Because Befall, for every Ritual, monster for a different name in your graveyard, Pops a card on your field. But in this combo, for this instance, I'll just go with advanced ritual. I'll just to keep simple, just keep it simple and nice. Um, but I will advise if you guys are going for this combo, go for the ritual line. You slim it on the deck, plus it gives more play later on if you can get any the chalice line back into your hand, which you can just bring inception back from the graveyard. Let's move on here. So from here we go into cross ship utilizing these two monsters and boom we're going to be ritual summoning the Hagif from our hand this is why you return Hagif back from the graveyard early on with portal boom now we're gonna get double effect cross ship going to be chain link one Hagif going to be chain link two just to ensure that we get our search card and we don't draw it with cross ship so we're gonna be searching emergence and with cross ship, we're gonna get again our two draws. This card, it doesn't matter whatever we draw, we're just gonna discard them for the purpose of the combo. So, pretty much depends on your hand, you choose what you discard. The second effect now of cross ship is gonna be special summoning our hero from the, the graveyard. Oh, sweet, 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 abusing hero. Now, we're gonna be going to Daikusto Emerald. It's again abusing that hero. We're gonna be pitching hero so we can special summon. Our tuner from our graveyard, a normal one, normal monster, which is our level four tuner. A relic is gonna activate yet again, and this time we will be searching for a, a level eight, so we can again use unform. Uh, so we are just gonna go with Aratron, which will give us yet another name in the graveyard. So now we're gonna activate unform, pitching Aratron or whatever rank eight, level eight you have in your hand. To special summon Ophiel, which Ophiel is gonna give us a search. Boom. We are just gonna search for uh, anything, pretty much depends on your hand. In this instance, I'm just gonna go for another Retron. And from here, we're looking good. We're looking good. From here, we already have the combo all set. We can use these three cards for Apple Loser and go to our sync it run it it starts sync right here so this is the combo but if you agree if you as greedy as me if you're a greedy player like myself i i i, I want to go all out i want to go out we're gonna go do the code breaker combo which will allow our savage dragon to be a 4k beater with three counters instead of two from here you don't necessarily need to do this i'm just gonna showcase it for this purpose of this combo, I'm just gonna show you guys how. So from here, we're gonna be linking cross sheep and her gift to our sacred flame, and then we're gonna use our two effect monsters to go into code breaker right here and do the code breaker shenanigans. The effect I was activating was elder entity to destroy a kind of field. We just cancel that out. We don't want to destroy any kind of our field. And code breaker combos. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. So 
Now we're going to use our free link monsters to go into our Palooza and then we're going to utilize the level 4 to go into our Savage. And since we have higher ranks in the graveyard, we're going to go with our Codebreaker Virus. Berserker pretty much uses as a counter. We're going to have a 4k Savage Dragon with three counters instead of two if went earlier on. Like I said, you don't necessarily need to go to that extent, but here is it full powered, full powered. So three turns we can negate with our Savage Dragon when we have a free negate. We have um, a free negate Appaloosa. Let's see in the graveyard how many ritual cards with different names we have. Five. Five, five, five. Five. So we're destroying five cards on our opponent's side of the field during our opponent's turn when we do the emergence full shenanigans, which is which is really which is really amazing, which is really amazing. So you guys, if you're new here and you may have missed the deck pro the, the deck profile, you can check the the video to the right for the deck profile. If you happen to miss the episode one with the infinite negate, check the video to the left. See you guys in episode 3, hope you enjoy, thank you very much, take care guys.